Director of the Institute of Statistical, Social and Economic Research of the University of Ghana, Professor Peter Corte, has expressed optimism in the further cut of policy rates in 2024. This comes after the Monetary Policy Committee of the Bank of Ghana cuts its key lending rates to 29% from 30%. Professor Peter Corte said he expects inflation to decline for a further cut in the policy rate. He was speaking to my colleague, James Eshen. It is about consultancy. It is about new areas to engage. Even <clears throat> it is about the way we train our students, our curriculum development. All of this will come out very well if we engage each other and i think that's what we are doing and we're going to deepen that that uh, collaboration now prof let me come to the policy rate we saw 100 basis point cuts with respect to the policy rates we've seen fetch also averaging 18 percent for the year 2024 looking at various indicators what's the best way for it is it feasible what fetch is predicting well it depends i mean um We've seen the rate of inflation gradually come down. We have seen exchange rates literally being stable. Um, we've seen some positive growth rates and inflation expectations uh, coming down gradually. So with all of that, uh, you would expect that the policy rate will be revised downwards. My initial prediction was to have it between 100 to 200 basis points. Uh, you don't want to do a massive cut because uh, there are some inherent pressures that may come uh, one we've seen increase gradual increases in global oil prices on the on the global market we are seeing uh, we don't know whether it might come down or might go up uh, we are also seeing um, some new taxes that may likely be introduced um, uh, you know that can also fuel indirectly fuel inflation so uh, and and i believe the bank of ghana also looked at the liquidity situation in the economy you want to balance this carefully and therefore i don't ex i wasn't expecting a massive cut in the policy rate uh, but then not reducing it at all too wasn't an option in my view because uh, the lending rate is still high for business cost of doing business is already high so you want to do something to cushion them a little bit and i believe this it's, it's the first step, um, and, and I believe gradually when things improve, uh, we should see more of such cuts to bring down the lending rates and, and thereafter, thereafter the cost of doing business. Talking about taxes, um, there's this call from the business community with respect to their calling for a reduction in taxes, and we have in the IMF also call for more taxes. What is the best way? How do we sort of manage the two? I personally um, don't encourage increases in taxes in this particular moment because already the cost of doing business is high, cost of living is, is high, and uh, in as much as we need to raise revenue, I don't think um, the only way to raise revenue is to increase taxes. If we make tax collection more efficient, I believe we can rake in more revenue. If you make taxes affordable and enforce the tax regulations more people will pay tax your total tax revenue will increase so i want us to explore the other options i know gra is doing so but we need to explore those options uh, further i've seen some numbers and uh, i i hear they have uh, been able to increase tax collection uh, by so much but i i think we also look at it in terms of its real value. Uh, inflation has been high. So if you have increased tax revenue by 30% and inflation is uh, 26 or 20 something percent, so in net terms, how much have you increased revenue? I mean, those are some of the discussions that we ought to have. Yes, and as much as we see increase in tax revenue, um, we, we, we ought to be careful in celebrating that increase. Uh, because we have, if we have increased taxes, and businesses are suffering, and uh, um, households also are also uh, you know feeling the pinch, we shouldn't be celebrating. Rather, I think we should celebrate if we make tax collection more efficient and and also very affordable.